For hundreds of years, artists have made new paintings and statues. But in 1557, Pope Paul IV ordered that the naughty bits in art be covered by fig leaves, which seems strange since the Bible says that God created man in his image. However, the Bible also says that God ordered Adam and Eve to cover themselves with fig leaves after eating the forbidden fruit. So why fig leaves and not those from a banana tree, for example? They would be much bigger. Well, here is the scary part. Fig leaves contain a toxic chemical that is highly irritating when it touches the skin, causing itchiness or at worst, burning. You really do not want that on your private parts. Yow! The Pope could have just asked the artist to put some clothes on the people, but who knows, that's the way it is. Michelangelo's statue of David might have been depicted with a rather small willy, but when the statue measures just over 5 metres, 17 foot, it ends up being a bit in your face, so to speak. Consequently, for many years, the offending titbit was covered up. Finally, what was the forbidden fruit that Eve gave to Adam? If you've read the Bible, of course you'll know that there is actually no mention of apples. It talks about the tree in the middle of the garden and forbidden fruit, but nothing about apples. In the Ghent altarpiece, Eve is depicted as holding a citron, an ugly type of lemon. In the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo portrays a serpent as giving Eve fruit from a fig tree, possibly because God is going to need those leaves later. If you want to learn more about the unforbidden apples and why oranges might be a better choice, check out the video here or in the link below in the description. I'm the Social Evolutionary. Peace on, or peace off.